Today, I am going to show you how you can take a simple screenshot from your 3ds Max viewport and turn it into stunning high resolution render in just a few seconds. And that's just the start. With a single click, you can transform that render into a cinematic video. You can even create custom mood board for your favorite interior styles and instantly render your spaces to match. And trust me, that's only scratching the surface. There are so many powerful features to explore. So to start, you can just go to rerenderii.com or you can just click on the link in description for seven days free trial and 20% off for your first purchase. So this is the interface of the website. From the top, you will find a list of tutorials that you can watch uh, to learn how to use the platform. Scrolling down a bit, you will find the gallery of uh, already created renders by the users of the website. And you can use this for learning purposes. Maybe you can click on it and uh, you can take a look to the generations and the prompt that were used to generate such a result. At the left side, you will find a list of all the tools that the website provides you. So starting with the rendering tool, uh, you can either choose from uploading one image or multiple images in case you have uh, multiple screenshots as in this example. Uh, from the top, you will have uh, your previous projects listed with the screenshots that you already used. So before we download the image, let's just go to 3ds Max. And uh, from here, just make sure that the viewport is standard with a default shading. Because I've tried multiple uh, screenshots with the Cli option and also with the performance viewport. And it turns out that the standard is the best one because for the performance and the client renders, they make the software confused because it almost looks like uh, everything have the same material. So just make it like this. And maybe uh, in order for us to turn uh, off the black zones here, we just need to go to views, active viewport settings and choose this one for the default slide, the second option. And you immediately got rid of the black zones in here. So going back to our platform, I'll just select uh, the image from here because I already uh, uploaded. it. From here, you can choose the type and the style. So you will have multiple styles that you can choose from. And I highly recommend that you take your time and uh, try each of this one to see which one uh, suits better for you. From here, you can choose the type of the building, like residences, commercial properties, industrial, etc. So we just stick with residences and detached house. And let's just go with international elegance. Scrolling more down, you can find more options about times uh, of the day and the season, which, which one is the season, the sky, landscape. And from here, you can just go ahead and type your prompt. So uh, let's just go ahead with high resolution of a modern house. And make sure to turn on refine my prompt. And let's just click render. Here it's going to modify your prompt. So just click modify and click render. And here it is. We already got like a beautiful render of the house. As you can see, it's detailed. It smashed the color of the sky and everything. And from here, we have three other options as well. I think I like more the third option because it's kept the structure right in here. Once you like the result, one more thing you can do is click enlarge. And what this is going to do, it will scale your image. By scaling, I don't mean like just making your image bigger. It will also add more details to the image and make it more sharp as you will see here. You can see now the details are 
much clear so what i am going to do is i will just go ahead and click enlarge again now as you can see the image looks way much better it's it's more details and you have this nice effects on the walls like this is really a good image now let's just go ahead and click double out so this is the final image like really nice i will show you later how uh, you can turn this image to a really nice beautiful video so for the interior scenes uh, i i'm going to try with you something different which is the atmosphere feature and what this feature allows you to do is it allows you to create a mood board based on a collected data or images like i did in here like I call it Japan the interiors and then I went ahead and uploaded all these images that I downloaded from Pinterest or Instagram or wherever and then I will just go back to the rendering and I will upload uh, my interior scene and instead of choosing uh, the preset style now I'm going to go in mod board and I will select the Japan the interiors and simply click rendering and now what this is going to do is we'll render this uh, basic image from 3ds max while using the reference or the mood board that we already created of course you can be creative and create as much uh, mood board as they can and there is the results just scale it up and you can see the results all are pretty awesome So, so personally, I like I like the first option, or maybe the second one. So we'll just go ahead again and click enlarge it. Click enlarge again. So we get uh, the higher resolution possible which is 4K. So let's take a closer look to the final outcome. And I can say that it's, it's really awesome. So let's just go ahead and download the image. And now I'm just going to jump to the video option. And this is where the magic will happen. So Let's just click download an image. Pick the image that we already downloaded. Uh, and from here, if you scroll down, you will find the camera movement, like zoom in, zoom out, cross in, right rotation, whatever. So for this particular interior space, I would just go with left rotation. So be careful because the five seconds animation will cost you one credit and the 10 seconds animation will cost you two credits. And for the pro plan, you have only 10 video credits per month. So click generate and wait for the magic to happen. So as you can see, this is the result that we've got uh, from our basic image. And one more thing is that the AI went and generated more details here for the window and the cursor, because if you remember, the initial image didn't contain like this portion of, of the view. Uh, for me, I, I am really planning to use the, the video feature to produce 3D animations for my projects, especially for my social media accounts. I am an interior designer and rendering 3D animation can take a long, uh, long time. So I would just uh, keep using this feature to get quick reels for my Instagram and other social media platforms. So I highly suggest that you go ahead and discover the other features. Again, you can click on the link in the description for seven days free trial and 20% off of your first purchase. And uh, you will discover that the improved feature will 
which can improve your 3D renders, the coloring to color uh, your 2D plans, elevations and site map, and also uh, the development where you can use an empty space and generate fully furnished interior spaces. And we have also the edit and, and the sketch uh, tools where you can convert basic sketch into a stunning 3D or stunning render. So that's it for today. I hope you guys like the video. Let me know in the comments below how you are planning to use this uh, software or what are the weaknesses and strengths of this software. So see you soon, guys, in the next video.